Yo, yo, yo! What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button down below. So as you guys can see, this is a very familiar set. Right now we're at my work, and today's video is gonna be a review on this Harbor Freight uh, little tool cart I picked up. I've used it now for about two, two and a half months, and so far it's working really good. So I just want to give you an honest review about it, and also gonna be showing you guys kind of like a toolbox tour breakdown of the tools that I use as a flat rate Toyota dealership tech. So first off, this video is not sponsored by Harbor Freight. This is a completely honest review. I had a lot of people on the Icon tool video say that like I'm sponsored by Icon shit, which I'm not, which I wish I was. So Icon and Harbor Freight, if you guys are looking for a sponsor, hit me up. So anyways, let's get started. Alright, so you guys can see this is the US General 30 inch 5 drawer mechanics cart that they sell at Harbor Freight. When I picked this one up, it was about 240 bucks, but I believe, I believe now they have a coupon, so 20% off you can get something like that. But I did hear rumors that these carts have gone up in price, so I'm not too sure on that. You're gonna have to look it up for yourself, but overall, it's I would say it's a pretty good deal, good bang for your buck. Uh, service carts are really nice to have at work because like myself half the time I'm going to the service cart and not even using my actual expensive rip-off snap-on box so this has really helped me out a lot I keep all the essential tools in here everything that I need and use on a daily pretty much stays in here so quality on this I would say so far is pretty good in a little bit I'm gonna show you guys uh, my co-workers who's had his for a couple years now so you can see how it's held up over the years but like I said this one's just a couple months old but I mean the drawers are really nice they slide open they feel good they don't feel like ass uh, that each drawer has a little locking tab under the drawers so it took a little while to get used to because snap on they have like the lockers on all across the drawers these ones just have it in each corner so that's kind of weird but I mean after like a little while you get used to it Plenty of storage space up in the top. We got this nice little deep cubby right here. Put whatever you want. Uh, on the side, you got holes for like screwdrivers, stuff like that. So I keep a lot of my picks and stuff. Got a nice big drawer on the top right. You can fit your guns in there pretty nicely. Comes with the foam padding too for each drawer. Got two little drawers on the left. Only about like two inches tall. So you can't really fit anything too big in there. You got another main drawer, which is decent in height, a good couple of inches. And then you have your bottom drawer. And of course, the bottom shelf. Put your stinky shoes down there, you know what I mean? So, uh, pretty much stock comes with all of this, except the side table, which is an additional 40 bucks, I believe. So that thing's pretty nice. Nice little writing surface. You can put a lot of stuff on there. Uh, also the wheels, one thing I would like to point out is it comes with these ones stock and there's no caster on them. So it's kind of awkward when you're pushing it. So I was recommended to uh, just get the caster wheels, which they also sell Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks each. But it's really nice because you can just maneuver this thing a lot easier. And you're not kind of driving it all weird when you're pushing it around the shop. So that's one thing I would recommend to get, those caster wheels. Of course, comes with the handle and the side piece. And you can actually put that thing in multiple locations. You could either put it up here or up here on the side or the other side. Uh, has a lock, obviously, uh, two shocks, one on each side. One thing I would say, which is kind of weird, I don't know if it's just mine, if I got a cheap one, or what, but the shocks, you can see right there where they did the weld or whatever, um, kind of bent and tweaked. So I noticed if you're looking at it from an angle, 
it's like leaning back so it's not too big of a deal but it is something that i kind of just noticed and i was like what the fuck dude but other than that i would recommend this especially if you're just like starting off or you're just looking for some cheap solution because i'm pretty sure if you go to snap on mac Naco, any of the big brands a little cart like this is going to run you at least five or six hundred bucks and it's gonna do the same thing. So it might last you a little bit longer, but I also have the US General one at my house, one of the OG little baby black ones. Uh, and that one's still kicking. That one's been left outside of my house for like seven or eight years and the drawers still slide open just fine. The locks work, wheels spin, roll, everything's good. So like I said guys, overall, I would give this tool cart a thumbs up. All right, so right here we got uh, Alex Chaparro's cart. He's uh, to do a little side-by-side. -side. You guys remember Alex from our last 350Z video. He's had his US General cart for about four and a half years. You can tell they haven't really changed much design. He also rocked in the new wheels or the caster wheels. So he was the one who recommended it for me. But his is still holding up in great shape. His welds right here or whatever the hell did not come loose yet. So you can see uh, his is holding up I would say a little bit better than mine but overall he is satisfied with it his drawers still slide open really smoothly which is a nice test because he's also using this tool cart on the daily so that's a good sign that this thing's gonna last a good while so still feels really nice and smooth so yeah that's my little review on the Harbor Freight tool box uh this is kind of my first toolbox review i guess so sorry if it wasn't the best i don't really know what i'm doing but i just wanted to show you guys it and let you guys know that i approve of it and i would recommend it especially when starting off so now i'll kind of give you guys a little breakdown of what i'm rocking in mine uh so you guys can see what i fuck with all right so starting from the top uh this is kind of like my go-to uh like i said i pretty much only work out of this tool cart so I like to have my essentials and things I really use the most up here. So we got the quarter inch, three eighths and half inch ratchets. Got my little Craftsman tray. I believe it's Craftsman. I kind of just put whatever in here. Got some extensions, some adapters, um, lug nuts for the on-car brake lathe and some pocket tools over here. In the back, I got the most used sockets, at least for Toyota, which is 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. I usually run the deeps mostly all day and the wobbles. I don't really use the shorts that much. And if I do, I just run to the toolbox and pull them out. Then over here, I got the two Allens that I commonly use on doing transmission services, which would be the 10 mil and the 6 mil. In the back, I got my 30 12 point socket for CV axle nuts and all the half inch sockets that I've really used 24, 22, 21, 19, 17, as well as the wobbles and then a little wobble extension and just a plain Pittsburgh ex extension. Over here I got the O2 sensor socket, which I rarely use, but I just keep it up here because sometimes I do use it. So magnet, of course, this one I just found today. I lost it. I always lose these magnets, but magnet, 14 wrench. This is the oil change wrench. It's really nice. You guys have seen this one before in my past videos. And I got my tray of quarter inch extensions. That's pretty much it for this little top area bay. Um, on the side, I just got Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, some vice grips for when the hood prop won't stay open, the hydraulic shocks, I use that a lot. A little mini pry bar. Over here, we got this big screwdriver. I don't know if I've talked about this screwdriver before, but this one is seriously like my favorite screwdriver. Got this one at Harbor Freight, and I use it like a pry bar, a punch. I use it a lot on the new fuel pump recalls. Um, just use this one a lot so probably gonna get a new one though because this one is a little broken i've had this one for a good couple of years then we got the air chuck long half inch to three eighths transmission extension pretty much the only time this guy ever gets used and then i have my panel poppers all the sizes and this pick Nice for getting like radiator hoses off sometimes when they've been on there for a while, really stuck on there. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this area. Uh, usually when I am working on a job, if like I just have a couple nuts and bolts, this organizer is really nice because I could just like throw them in there, keep it somewhat organized, that way it's not just like all over the place. So 
Really like that tray right here. This drawer, I keep all my electric tools, the ones I use the most. Um, 3 8 electric, 3 8 ratchet, little DeWalt screw gun, and a quarter inch. That's a nice little drawer to keep the guns because it's pretty deep. That one works out pretty good. Over here in this drawer, I just keep my wrenches. Standard sizes, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. I have the combo wrenches and the gear wrenches for different situations. And then I would have my alignment wrenches over here, the 21 uh, and 22. But to be honest, usually when I do alignments, I'll just grab the adjustable wrench, adjustable crescent wrench, and just get the tie rods with that. So following into the next drawer, we just got all the pliers, um, picks, Got the serpentine belt tool, which sometimes I use, works out pretty nice, so I just keep a short 14 on there. Little grabber for when you drop your nuts. But yeah, I would say these pliers are the main ones I use. I have more in the big toolbox, but for the most part, it's like you're usually just using like needle nose, um, dikes, extended needle nose. Yeah, so that's it for the plier drawer. You guys can see too, it's kind of similar setup that I have in my main toolbox. It's like sockets and ratchets and stuff on the top. And then bottom, second drawer, main drawer is pliers. That's kind of how I like to roll. And that's kind of just what I got used to. And in the last drawer, I got uh, more of the heavy duty stuff. Hammers, mallets, chain whip, air hammer, um, air ratchet. That I've used when I'm doing like more heavy line, I would say, on those FRSs and stuff. Ratchet straps right here. Those are really nice to like hold knuckles out of the way or hold up anything really. And the brake caliper spreader tool. This thing definitely gets used a lot. So that pretty much sums it up for tools in here. On the side, I keep my impact gun right here. I really go for it a lot. So I like to just have it out in the open where I can just grab it really easily. And then of course the tire pressure inflator and some WD-40. But yeah, I believe that sums it up for the tools I have in the video. On the bottom, I just kind of throw my shoes and whatever miscellaneous stuff. Um, but yeah, that's about it for my toolbox, guys. So yeah, I mean, for 240 bucks, I say this is a hell of a deal because like you're going to be beating this thing up, banging it around, throwing tools in and out of it. Um, so I don't see why you'd want to spend so much money. I mean, a lot of people will say that you're spending the money on the quality. But I mean... As you can see right here, this one's still holding up just fine. It feels just like mine. The drawers feel just as smooth. And he's been using his for about four and a half years. And he also just works out of this toolbox, tool cart. Yeah, another thing too, especially if you're just starting off, uh, you might not like working out of service cards. So I would say start with something cheap and just try it out, see if it's for you. Um, since some people do like working out of the main box, um, it's not a bad way to just test it out and see if you even like it. Another thing I do like about service carts are sometimes you don't end up working like immediately in the bay your toolbox is in. So it's nice to have like the tools you're gonna use and you could just like roll your ass to wherever you're gonna work and just keep working like that rather than like running back and forth because you like forgot one or two tools. So it's just another key point I would like to add. So yep, that's pretty much it for my toolbox review slash toolbox uh, tool cart breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, everyone runs differently. Some people don't like using tool carts. Some people rather just go to their box and pull whatever out and then put it back in. But I personally have found the tool cart works, um, I would say the best, at least for me, because when I'm working on a car or something, I like to have like pretty much everything I'm gonna be needing like right in front of me. Like you don't wanna be on, working on the car and then running back to your toolbox to go get some more stuff. It's nice when like the car's right here and then your toolbox is right here. So you can literally just like move left to right. Like really uh, gets your efficiency up and helps you bang out jobs a lot faster, so. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. If you wanna see more like this, more reviews, tool reviews, um, anything like that, I'm always down for new video ideas. So that's it for today's episode, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also follow me on Twitch now, live streaming every night on Call of Duty. So catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup.
I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker.